Okay, so global warming is real. So this is uh this kind of technology is gonna help us make sure that the future generation has enough fuel to drive our vehicles. So I think it's a very, very important technology and being in the state of California, it's important that you guys have a state-of-the-art truck that you can learn on. So that way, when you get these entry-level jobs right after high school, you already know how these vehicles work. <laughs> So, with that being said, I'd like to turn the mic over to the superintendent. See if he has some words to say. Thank you, brother. So seriously, it's all I can do to not sing. I like big trucks, and I cannot lie. Like, okay, sorry. It's a little too ball the white dude for everybody this morning. Um, how cool is the electric truck behind me? So here's the deal. Yeah, we are, Fresno is about moving material from one place to another. We're in the heart of the state. We're the heart of California. This is the center where it all happens. We are the logistics capital of the world. And actually, this just shows that we're doing it in the most responsible way that we can by going long term. Right? Moving away from... Moving away from diesel technology to a fully electric heavy truck. So this is specifically for you guys and ladies to learn on. Um, give it up for my friend Kristen who keeps and her team who writes the grant to bring. This is a tool for you to learn. I'll be honest, I saw this driving up Cedar and when I saw Duncan on the side, I was like, oh yes, right? Wake up Clovis Central Sanger, you better stay, you better stay present with it because Duncan's on the move. Um, how this happened, this team of lovely people right here to my left, they work with the California Department of Education and their College and Career Transition Division. This is one of the first of its kind, again, here in the Valley, right? It's super cool when Fresno does things first. Like when you talk to your out-of-town relatives and you say Fresno, they don't always step to that in a very positive way. But Fresno is consistently doing things first now. So our purchase of this fully electric truck is just an example of us loving you and wanting to pay an investment for you. Here's the cool thing. You learn to work on this, you'll never be hungry a day in your life. Right? Our goal, and now that doesn't, you can do whatever you want to do with that. If you want to go to college, we encourage you to do that. Don't incur college debt. Get your certification on the truck and make money while you're going to school. Right? Yeah. Or, just work on trucks if you love working on trucks and make $150,000 a year doing the kind of work that you like doing with your hands every day, right? Our opportunity and what we care about for you is that you get to do whatever you wanna do with your future. And if you like working with your hands and you like learning new technology and you wanna be in the forefront, that's what we want for you. When you learn to work on this truck, you will put yourself at the head of the line of a series of mechanics that all exist across the state of California. You will never be without of a job. So stay close to this man, listen to him, right? He will get you where you need to be in your life and in your career. In order for us to stay viable, to keep our technology and our instruction right, we have to keep pushing the envelope. That's what's kind of hard in college and career. Like what got you here today is not what's gonna get you there tomorrow. So we gotta keep buying new stuff. The good thing is we have really responsible people that take care of the money so that we can keep buying good things. And can I tell you a really exciting thing that you may not know? Fresno is starting to draw what we call philanthropic interest to the valley. In other words, rich people are paying attention to what's happening here. We just got a grant, 20 million bucks to Fresno Unified. Guess what we have to do with it? Nothing, whatever we think is best, like buying stuff like this, right? And it's because you guys keep doing good things. The more you continue to succeed and the more you put us out there, the more people want to fund the good things that we're doing here in the Valley. That was Mackenzie Scott. That's Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Amazon money, 20 million bucks, right? We're the first district in the nation to get that kind of contribution, right? Woo! By way of by way of size, if you just put that money in the bank at 4% interest, it makes $800,000 a year without ever touching the money. So we can buy a truck like this every year. I don't know how much this truck costs. I could be dead, I'm sorry. Right? I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but it allows us what we need to do in order to keep pushing the envelope for you. Right? Because nothing we do is any more important than pushing the envelope for you. 
and you guys here. This truck is gonna help us meet our more advanced levels of certification. So now we can take you to the next level so that you, when you go out and you apply for a job, your resume will immediately go to the front of the line. Here's my ask of you. Don't ever sell your excellence short, right? Tell them everything you know how to do, everything you've ever done, because when you put this on your resume, like not everybody's gonna have this. They're gonna say, what, you worked on a Mac collected truck? Yes, in Fresno I did that, right? Your colleagues in other places and parts of the state are not doing that, so you are now at the front of the line, which is what we want for you. We keep gathering at Duncan, like it's happened a lot, even during my six years here, we keep gathering for really cool stuff. Like I was actually here when this was grass, right? <laughs> It's kind of sad, my, was, oh, sorry, my dad came to that. My dad passed in December. A lot has changed over the course of time here. But we keep doing really cool stuff at Duncan, right? And we're gonna keep doing it, but we can only keep doing it if you keep paying it forward to the people that come behind you. How many of you are junior seniors right now? Okay, so, so guess what? Every single freshman and sophomore is counting on you to do something meaningful with the tools that we're giving you. Right? Today's celebration of this new electric truck is just the latest example of how Duncan continues to push the envelope and they're on the forefront of everything we're doing. Right? When we take robotics to New Orleans and we can't get back because there's like a hurricane, that's Duncan. Right? When it's the first ever state of the art truck manufacturing facility where you're down underneath the truck, you got visual images of the truck, that's Duncan. And today, Duncan enters the electric truck field too. So thank to everybody who played a role. Like I, I don't really play a role. My job is just to block and tackle so that the really important people can do the stuff that they need to do. My job is just to clear the way, get people out of the way, get the political stuff out of the way so that the people who love you and care about you can keep doing the good things for you. But you gotta pay it forward to the next generation. Are you down with that? The people before you made this real for you. Now you are gonna take this technology and take it to the next level for who knows what's gonna come behind you. But that's your job and your responsibility. So on behalf of the Fresno Unified School District, thank you to my College of Career Readiness team, the leaders in that space, our local folks here at Duncan who are just making that happen, business partners, like and I'm, it's kind of dangerous when you start down there, Mike Betts and my entire crew, Kim, like people who, our community is here in force too, that's the last thing I should say. There's a ton of people here that you probably don't even know who are your family and you don't even know it. There's a bunch of community partners here who have put time, money, their headspace, and commitment into you and your lives. You don't even know them. But they want good things for you. So if you have an opportunity today, see some of the people that are standing around here, right? Thank them for paying it forward for you. These people care about you and you don't even know them. What's my ask of you? Again, you do that for the people that come behind you, right? Anyway, on behalf of the district, it's a pleasure to be here with you today at Duncan. Thanks a lot for letting me speak. I don't know if you want to hear it. Good morning, everybody. I am Kim Messman. I'm the president of Affinity Truck Center, and we are the Volvo and Mac dealer in town, and happy to provide this to you today. Um, I have been working along with some of my people who are hiding in the wings, but uh, Chris Harris has been with me 20 years, Bob Blanchard more than 20 years, and we have been working with all the CTE schools in the Valley all that time to work with making sure that the classes and the learnings that you do apply when you enter the workplace. So we appreciate Eric including us always in that and letting us give our feedback because we want you to be prepared as you go into the industry ahead. Um, we really want you to have rewarding careers, and Affinity is really proud to have hired two of your former graduates. So we have uh, Edgar and Yair. Raise your hand, Yair. Uh, Edgar, four years ago, graduated from here, and none of this would go. We're so excited to see it for the first time today. Yair's been back, and I know he's talked to some of you about how his path of learning through Affinity's two-year apprentice program has made them both Volvo and Mac certified technicians. Bob is also one of the first in the country to be an electric certified technician, something you two guys will absolutely work towards any place that you end up now. So we are excited to continue to work with you and come back to the school and work with Eric and make sure we all keep learning together as these products evolve. Um, 
This truck itself, it's the first to be delivered in the entire valley. So I work with dealers all across the country and they have not taken delivery of them anywhere. So this is a big deal. They, people have not seen this yet. Um, the fact that it made it to the valley and to your school, I am sure you are the first in the nation to get that as well. So you really are a part of the future and we're making history here today. Um, collectively, we want to invest in you in becoming uh, a really big part of the industry. And uh, we really want to keep a long partnership with Duncan and continue to work with you and watch future students grow. In the Valley, we only use 1% of the agricultural land to grow 25% of all the food that feeds the nation. So imagine all of that here, we grew $20 billion of crops just last year, and everything goes in a truck and goes across the country. So that is a very stable industry for you guys to consider joining as a career. It's not automotive, it's not consumer, it doesn't follow the economy going up and down. We all need to eat and we need to keep these trucks moving. So it is a safe place for you to look into and consider whether it be parts or repair. Um, these technicians learn every day. It is not a boring job. They've never seen a, uh, the same problems repeatedly. So it's a field you can go into and continue to grow your entire career. Bob solves puzzles for us every single day that we've never seen before. And we couldn't get by without him. So it's a great opportunity for you for careers moving forward. So I really just wanted to thank Superintendent Nelson and Jeremy Ward, and I don't know if Carr is here, I didn't see her yet this morning, but for putting all this together and continuing to pay it forward for our industry to make you guys ready to keep this valley going. And I look forward to keeping doing that for years and years to come. Thank you. I don't know who else is speaking. I don't, Jeremy, do you have remarks that you want to make? So did you hear what Miss Kim Messman said? This is your future employer, right? So when you see her walking around today, you might want to introduce yourself. I'm just saying, like, don't get it twisted. I didn't ask which of you come to my store every week and learn. So you guys are in the store learning. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, good morning, Duncan. Good morning, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. I, I didn't hear anything from the students at all. I heard something. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Good morning, Duncan. There we go. Hey, uh, it is uh, actually, it's, it's kind of a, a little emotional for me to be here and just see how far this program has come in the, in the, in the past five, ten years. It's pretty remarkable. Duncan was always known for being this quality program that you can learn meaningful career skills that you can take with you in life. And it is fortunate to have remarkable people that continue to move that forward. So I just want to say, I just want to say how grateful I am to have been a very small piece of the legacy here at this school. And I'm so grateful to the people that are continuing to see this remarkable work moving forward. Um, it is amazing to think that Duncan Polytechnical High School, first high school in the nation to have an all electric semi truck. That's pretty amazing, right? Duncan, little Duncan, right? First and all over the United States. That's that's remarkable. Um, we're proud of you. We're proud of this work. We're proud of your, your teachers that keep this work going. And uh, I just want to say thanks for this opportunity. Thanks for our superintendent to be on board with us as well. And I would be remiss if I did not say thank you to Kristen and the team who really saw this project moving forward all the way through. So it's not as easy as just saying, let's buy that. <laughs> right? There's a long, lengthy process that we have to go through to be able to bring a piece of equipment like this on our school. The most expensive piece of equipment we have ever purchased in career technical education history in the Fresno Unified School District is that right there. <laughs> right here at Duncan. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, my dream is that I'm going to be out driving the streets and just you know, un unbeknownst to me, here comes a truck right up next to me. I'm going to say, oh, hey, look at that. I don't know how we're going to make that happen, but that, that's what I'm hoping to see. We're, I know we're going to keep this truck roadworthy, which is important because we want to be able to see Duncan out in the community and um, look forward to seeing what you guys do. So thank you very much. I'll turn it back over to Mr. Rubio. Woo! All right, so we have a few minutes before you guys have to go to class, so feel free to take a look at the truck. Oh, <laughs> 